Lydia, I was right. It's him. He's running your way. Are you in position? I am. And do you still expect me to be shocked every time you're right? Going somewhere? He's making a break for the Northwest doors. Leo. Running in the halls. Nolan, can you tell me what rule he's in violation uh, of? The two of five. Very good. Well, not for you. It's over, Cole. Wait, wait, I'm innocent. Then why'd you run? Because you were chasing me. You're the only one who could have taken Anna's ring. Ben figured it all out. Oh, come on. So Benjamin Bartlett decides I'm looking suspicious today, and all of a sudden, I'm a thief. The entire time we were chasing you in the hallway, you ran with a slight limp, preferring your right leg, almost as if it hurt to use your left. If I had to guess, I would say that you hid the ring in your left shoe. And if you haven't noticed yet, that shoe is no longer on your foot. I'm sick of Ben thinking he's right all the time. I'm telling you, he's wrong. I didn't take Anna's ring. I can explain that. This looks like the ring Anna described to us. That's my ring. It has Anna's name engraved in it. That's my middle name. No, like, like her full name, Anna McAllister. Just take me to the principal's office. Well, that works for me, Nolan. Could you please escort Mr. Washington to the principal's office? My little brother's first sting operation. I'm so proud. I'll make sure that gets to Anna. Thanks for the assist, Clark. Anytime. Cameraman's work is never done. <sighs> Too bad he can't help me with what I have to do next. Wait, you mean you haven't told her yet? No, and honestly, I shouldn't even be the one telling her, but I have to. I'm just waiting for the right time. I mean, would you want to tell Charlotte? Absolutely not. I'd rather have to deal with six 1411s than do that. You know I don't know what that means. It means good luck. You'll need it. See you later, Neil. Oh, we need to stop thinking our position of authority gives us the right to treat others wrong. Until we learn to do these things, nothing will get better. We need to see ourselves in others. I'm telling you, Naomi, this slushy machine is the best investment our administration has ever made. You did always know what was best, Charlotte.
Nice of you to finally join us. Your slushy was starting to melt. Sorry, I was busy catching a thief. Oh, your last case before going off to junior high. I'm gonna miss you. And you too, Naomi. I'm sure you'll do just fine without me. As sad as it is that you won't be my vice president next year, your replacement will do a good job. I can't wait for Elaine to get back from Vancouver so we can get started. I have so many big things planned for this year. She'll do a great job with my VP. What? What is it? You know, I'm gonna let Lydia handle this one. Naomi. Naomi! Lydia, what is it? Charlotte, Elaine isn't on vacation. She went to Vancouver to interview for a young arts program at an art school. She told people she was on vacation just in case she didn't make it. Oh. And? She got accepted. That's great. I mean, she'll miss some of the stuff I had planned for over the summer, but she'll be back in September, right? It's not a summer program, Charlotte. Elaine isn't coming back. So Elaine isn't coming back to Autumn Academy next year? No. But I don't know anyone competent enough to replace her. She can't leave. Why didn't she tell me? I have no one else and I'm just hearing about this now? She wanted to tell you. She really did show it, but it just happened way too fast. Charlotte, I know you're upset. And Elaine is so sorry she couldn't tell you this herself. But this art school is something she's always wanted. And hey, you're Charlotte Saint Germain, student body presser. You'll figure something out, right? Hi, Charlotte. Hi. Clark, I'm going to give you about three seconds to get that camera out of my face. Relax, Char. I'm just getting some B-roll of students for a new segment. Oh, speaking of which, Mackenzie wants to know when your next interview will be. You know that's never going to happen. Come on, it's been too long. The people miss their president. If Mackenzie's been waiting on me to book another interview, tell her not to hold her breath. Zoe, what can I do for you this fine morning? Charlotte, I just heard the sewing club got canceled over the weekend. Is that true? What happened? I don't know. Budget cuts, lack of student interest, lack of volunteers. Do any of those sound believable to you? Uh, I don't know. Maybe. Excellent. Glad I could help. Uh, hey, Charlotte. What do you want, Nolan? Uh, I don't want to bother you whatever you're up to, but I was wondering if you'd consider my offer. Which offer was that again? Um, the one about coming to the hall monitor training session I'm teaching. Really? I don't recall. Uh, I sent you like 10 emails about it. So do you think you can make it? I'm busy that day. I never told you what day it was. 
I am always busy. And I completely understand. It's just that homeowner numbers have dropped since last year, and maybe having the student body present to participate might increase interest. Nolan, plus, I'm a new senior homeowner, and I just have huge shoes to fill. My brother and he was one of the greatest homeowners Autumn Academy has ever had. And Nolan, if I agree to think it over, will you please stop following me? I'm sure, I guess. Awesome. Uh, thanks, Charlotte. Hey, Charlotte. What? Just wanted to say hi. Oh. Hey, Jacob. Everything okay? I'm student body president for the third consecutive semester. Why wouldn't I be okay? Yo, Jacob, you still going to the gym? Yeah, I'll meet you guys around a bit. I'm not doing it, Rex. You don't agree with me? Not really, no. Doing some extracurricular could really do some serious damage control. After the stunt you pulled last year, you could really use it. What do you want me to do? Run for student body president? Student council's a joke, just like the person running it. You're mad at Charlotte now, Dex? Come on, get a grip. Hey, Jacob. Hey, Rex. Dex. So, what does the captain of the track team want to talk to us about? Temporarily, Captain. Just until Jeremy and Denver come back from training camp in a few months. What do you want, Jacob? Lately, I've been thinking a lot about the speech Jeremy gave last year at the mural unveiling. The one about being kind to everyone? Yeah. So what? You're going on some sort of apology tour? I know we were never really friends with Dex. And whose fault is that? It was my fault. I was a bully, but me and the track team want to be better than when Jeremy and Denver were in charge. And now you're sorry? I am. Well, I don't care. Don't mind him. He's been mad at everybody lately. You think he'll ever get on the good side? I don't know, that kid may look like me, but he has a mind of his own. Hey, I can see you. It's for the news. Academy, and thank you for tuning into Autumn News. I'm Mackenzie Harrison. It has now been two months since the beginning of the school year, and we are still yet to hear from student body president Charlotte St. Germain since she made the welcome statement on the first day of school. 
Charlotte has remained painfully quiet since her third semester in office began and has declined every interview opportunity. With election season just around the corner, many are losing faith in their elected official, as a few of those who have encountered her in the hallways have less than positive things to say. She just dodged almost all of my questions. It's like she didn't even care. Makes me wonder why I voted for her in the first place. I have noticed a change in Charlotte lately, but I think she's just under a lot of stress. It probably comes with the job. We may not know what's going on with Charlotte, but one thing is clear. Our student body president was not the same the day she was elected. And in breaking news this morning, yearbook editor Jonathan Grant is officially running for student body president for the second semester of the school year. I have always loved our school, and I think I have some pretty great ideas that could make Autumn Academy even greater. I'm looking forward to working closely with the student body outside of just the yearbook committee. And I can't wait to see what's in store for the last half of the year. Jonathan, of course, will be running against current student body president, Charlotte St. Germain, assuming she decides to run again. She's yet to announce her re-election campaign. Jonathan hasn't named his vice president yet, but we will hear from him in the upcoming days. The road to election day is starting to get paved, but you can be sure that Autumn News will keep you updated. I'm Mackenzie Harrison. Thanks for tuning in. Overdue. Did you need something? No, I'm just amazed to see Charlotte St. Germain in the flesh. I almost didn't recognize you, but the trademark charisma is a dead giveaway. Do I know you? Seriously, you don't know me? Nope, don't think so. Claire Marshall? Doesn't ring a bell. I've known you since preschool. Nope, sorry. I sat directly behind you in English class last year. Don't remember. I'm the head of the debate team. We have a debate team? Well, we did, not anymore. You kind of disbanded it a year and a half ago for reasons still unknown. Budget cuts, lack of student interest, lack of volunteers, do any of those sound believable to you? What happened to you? You used to run the school, not the best, but not terribly. You were confident. Now look at you, you're just mean. Your attitude's awful, you use your allies, and you don't even dress the way you used to. What are you doing? Oh, I've been taking minutes of our conversation. And I'm trying to find the exact time I asked for your opinion. Can't seem to find it. It's a good thing you're not running for re-election. I think you need a long break. Who said I'm not running for re-election? You're not serious, are you? Why wouldn't I be serious? Honestly, if you ran the way you are now, you'd lose in heartbeat. And what makes you such an expert on the subject? 
It doesn't take an expert, Charlotte. Also, Jonathan was on the debate team with me, and he's actually a decent person. You couldn't possibly beat him. Not like this, at least. Considering you're such a genius on politics and debating, I'm surprised you weren't able to argue to keep your little debate club alive. You know what I think? I don't care what you think. I think for the first time in your life, you don't have anyone backing you up, and you can't even pretend that's okay. Thanks for the assessment, Doctor. But I think I'll get a second opinion. Oh, by the way, the librarian isn't actually in today, so you can't actually sign out any books. Also, return library books go in the bin next to the door, not on the desk. Working as the editor of the yearbook, I was able to document many of the amazing things Autumn Academy has done over the past few years. I was also able to learn so much about the good things and the gifts and talents that our students have. So my goal as student body president is to implement ways of bringing out the best in our students, allowing them to fully excel in their abilities. No one to back me up. What does she know? Come here, Teddy. Come here. You'd back me up, wouldn't you? You heard that the canteen was discontinuing hot chocolate too? What? No, ew, that stuff wasn't even that good. Are you crazy? That stuff was great. 
If you replaced it with some green tea thing, I wouldn't suggest it. I'm not here about the hot chocolate, Cleo. It's Claire, but continue. Naomi, Ben, Lydia, Elaine. They're all gone, and I don't know what to do. I know I've been acting like I have nothing to lose, but student council is all I have now. And I have to win this election. Why did you want to become president? I guess I just wanted people to look up to me. That's your problem. You want the approval of the student body, but you refuse to show them any respect. Naomi tackles a lot of the behind the scenes stuff. I just mastered the art of smiling on cue and sounding like I care. But with her gone, with everyone gone, I just can't fake it anymore. So don't fake it then. The students voted for you because they thought you'd make a good leader. Just be the president that they voted for. Might be a little late for that. I haven't been myself in months. You said it yourself. I don't have a chance against Jonathan. I never said you didn't have a chance. It just said you had to get back to the old you, but actually try to care this time around. Where do I even start? Well, you've definitely done a number on your reputation. You just need a fresh start, a clean slate, a new team. I'm naming you my vice president. I didn't necessarily mean me. It's rare that I run into someone who actually knows what they're talking about. And you know Jonathan. That could give me an edge in the upcoming debates. That, and I don't really have anyone else I can ask. Charming. How do you think I stayed in office this long? All right, Madam President, I'm in. An autumn news notification. According to this article, Jonathan's named his VP. Who is it? You've got to be kidding me. Where is he? Gross. Jacob! You're running as Jonathan's vice president? Yeah, something wrong. Don't you have a track team to run? Why can't they do both? It's not like you asked me. Are you afraid that Jacob's gonna beat you? No. Well, then why do you care? Why do you care? I don't care, Everett. I'm just curious as to what made Jacob ask Jonathan if he could be his VP. I didn't ask Jonathan, he asked me. And plus, he promised his new gear for school at me, so he's my vocal. I'm standing right here. What's in the boxes? Campaign stuff. Jonathan wanted some stuff brought over, so we're heading to the student council lunch. I'll come with you. I think it's about time I met with my competition. Thanks guys, you can just put that stuff right over there and that'd be fantastic, thank you. Sorry about taking up the student council lounge. I needed a place to set up and I know you like using the multi-purpose room at this time of year, so uh... No worries, traffic's been pretty slow in here lately anyway. Congrats on getting your name on the ballot, by the way. Thanks, just trying to make the school a better place. Oh, no offense, of course. None taken. So, Jacob for VP? Yeah, I'm surprised he was up for it. Jacob has come a long way. Just out of curiosity, what made you pick him? Oh, I can't take credit for that one. I owe that choice to my campaign manager. And who might that?
Dex Simmons? Dex Simmons is your campaign manager? Are you insane? You are aware that last year, he destroyed Elaine's mural and almost got away with framing Jeremy for it. I'm well aware of what he did, but he asked me if he could help out. And you agreed? Dex is sneaky and calculated and manipulative, and he can't be trusted. You are aware that Dex Simmons is your campaign manager. Why do you think I joined? It's the only way to make things right with Dex. It's my only choice. Jonathan, Dex is bad news. I know he has a history, but I believe in second chances. Plus, he's going to help me a lot in the media and advertisement department. He's good at what he does. Wow, Charlotte, you almost sound scared. Having second thoughts about running again? Oh, I'm running again. I was just reminding Jonathan to keep an eye out for snakes. Aren't I allowed to right my wrongs? I even let Jacob join our campaign team. I'm different now. And snakes shed their skin. And yet they're still snakes. Good luck, Jonathan. You're going to need it. And I look forward to running against you, Charlotte. May the best candidate win. Don't worry. She will. Oh, and if you plan on using any paint, I suggest keeping it on a very tall shelf. You wouldn't want Dex getting into any of it. official student body president Charlotte St. Germain will be running for re-election. After many months of questioning and speculation, Charlotte's name was added on the ballot yesterday afternoon. Charlotte has since named her vice president as Claire Marshall, former head of the debate team. Charlotte will be defending her title against yearbook editor Jonathan Grant, along with his vice president, track captain Jacob Kennedy. With so many high-profile candidates in the mix this year, the election day just a month away, it is sure to be a very eventful campaign trail. The first debate will be held a week from today in the auditorium. to looking presidential, I see. Yeah, I was getting tired of the hoodies anyway. So, how did your little chat with Jacob go yesterday? Better than my chat with Jonathan. Did you know he's letting Dex Simmons be his campaign manager? That's a strange play. I know, right? He's the only person I know who can stab you in the back and somehow make it look like it's your fault. Whether he's up to something or not, Dex is going to be a big help to Jonathan. But you can run my campaign as well as him, right? In some ways, yes. Media-wise, we're outmatched. Maybe not. Ugh, this green tea is disgusting. I missed the hot chocolate already. I know, right? Such a bad call. Seriously, what is with you people in the hot chocolate? Rex, what are you doing here? I'm here to help, if you'll let me. Where's your slightly more evil twin? You know we're not actually joined at the hip, right? You want to help Charlotte? Why? Dex is helping Jonathan run his campaign, and I think it's my fault. What does that have to do with you? I wanted Dex to get more involved in the school, but I think he joined Jonathan's campaign so that he can take Charlotte down. And what exactly did I do to Dex to make him so mad at me? 
Who knows? He's been mad at everybody since the mural incident last year. And you aren't mad too? Why aren't you helping him? Because I'm not my brother. We may have the same face, but we're not the same person. Dex is a huge advantage to Jonathan, and he's going to do everything in his power to make sure that Charlotte doesn't win. And you want to join our team to level the playing field. You said it yourself. You're outmatched media-wise, but not with me on your team. Let me be your campaign manager. All right, Simmons. Thanks. But if I find out that you and your other half are actually conspiring or using your twin telepathy or whatever to share secrets, I'll dispose of you. Welcome aboard. There are three public debates leading up to the election. One every other Friday. The first one is a week from now on November 8th. The election is just before Christmas break, so we have a little over a month to make you presidential again. Do you know who's mediating the debates this year? This year it's Mackenzie Harrison from Autumn News. Unbelievable. What's wrong with Mackenzie Harrison? Haven't you heard the way she talks about me on the news? She doesn't like me. I think you're over-exaggerating, just a little. Please, she's a pitchfork away from starting an angry mob. I did an interview with her at the beginning of the school year. It didn't go well. Really? I must have missed it. Everyone missed it, thank goodness. It never aired. Well, as long as you stick to talking about your campaign platform, you shouldn't have a problem. Speaking of which, we should probably revise your platform before the first debate. Revise? Why would we revise it? Well, I just thought because of our clean slate initiative. Well, the platform wasn't the problem. I was. And now I'm back to normal, so don't fix what ain't broke, right? Claire may have a point, Charlotte. Maybe we should just read through it. Look, Naomi helped me drop that platform in my very first election, and I've won every year since on that same platform. We're not changing it. All right, then. The first debate is mainly a question and answer period with the audience. Great. Answering the questions of the student body is the reason I got elected in the first place. That and my eloquent public speaking abilities. Are you sure it wasn't your humility? Okay, but you can't fake it this time, remember? You have to actually answer people honestly. I can be honest. Other people just can't handle my honesty. Like if I called you a nerdy computer geek with a delinquent for a brother and you a hot chocolate obsessed buzzkill who argues with strangers in her free time. That was honest, but did you like it? Why are we helping her again? Just try to be honest without being brutal. Done. By the long face, Rex, aren't you excited for the debate? I'd be more excited if you weren't involved. What? I'm participating in school activities, just like you asked. No funny business, Dex. Wouldn't dream of it. All right, Mackenzie, we're live in three, two, one. Good afternoon, Autumn Academy. Welcome to the first debate of the 2019 Autumn Academy Presidential Winter Election. I'm your mediator for this event, Mackenzie Harrison. Please help me welcome to the stage our candidates for this election, Jonathan Grant and current student body president, Charlotte St. Germain. Good luck today, Charlotte. You don't need luck when you challenge. 
Okay. Candidates, we look forward to hearing about your plans for the future of our school. I'd like to begin by opening the floor to our Autumn Academy students, as their voices are the ones our candidates are fighting for. Several students from the audience have been pre-selected to ask both Jonathan and Charlie questions. Students, when it is your turn to speak, please rise so our candidates can see you clearly. My name is Alexa Monroe. I have a question for both candidates. Could you please repeat that? My name is Alexa Monroe. I have a question for both candidates. A little louder, please. My name is Alexa Monroe. For goodness sakes, how is it that you are speaking directly into a microphone and I cannot hear a word you're saying? Speak up. My name is Alexa Monroe. I have a question for both candidates. Why would you be elected student body president? Well, I believe that Autumn Academy has flourished under my leadership. With me as its leader, the student council has been able to enact great changes in our school. If I am reelected, I will continue to incite progress. I'll be honest. Student life at Autumn Academy has died down in recent years. I feel a lack of excitement in our school. And I believe this is because of a lack of acknowledgement placed upon our students. With me as your president, I will do everything in my power to ensure that students are given the opportunity to excel in their abilities and have their contributions acknowledged and rewarded. Thank you. Hi, Zoe Carter. I have a question for Charlotte. Recently, the sewing club was axed. I'd like to know why this decision was made. As I previously mentioned to Ms. Carter, the sewing club was disbanded for a variety of reasons, mainly budgetary. The student council believed that the money spent on sewing supplies would be better spent elsewhere. And where was the money spent? The money went back into the student council. So essentially, the money went back to you. Not me, the student council. Might I interject? You may. Thank you. My team and I have been looking into the situation. With Miss St. Germain's current platform, many clubs have been dissolved to support student council finances. Yes, in order for the student council to do good things, it needs its funding to be supported. That's just it. I think student council funding is too high. Excuse me? I believe that with less money spent on student council, we could bring back the dismantled clubs and even create some new ones. Nolan Hoffman with the question. I'm gonna stop you right there. If this is about the hall monitor training session, you can just sit right back down. But sit. Hoffman. Never mind. So much for her eloquent public speaking abilities. Well, she's eloquently making a fool of herself. Everett McKinley, track and field assistant captain. Last week, the canteen stopped selling hot chocolate. Seriously? Again with the hot chocolate? Charlotte, what are you going to do about it? Nothing. Why not? Because that hot chocolate was disgusting, and a very small portion of students actually drank it. So if the canteen decides to stop selling it, then those few people will just have to drink something else. I am well aware of the significance the canteen's hot chocolate has on the student body. But I promise, my first act as president will be to bring back the hot chocolate. But not only that, I will lower the price. He 
is good. I know. All right, audience. We still have more questions to get through. last month. That was less painful than watching your debates. And now Jonathan is decimating you in the polls. I don't know what happened. Debating has never been difficult for me before. That's because you're not on good terms with the students anymore. They won't accept half statements or empty promises. And based on your current platform, half statements and empty promises could be your campaign slogan. That platform. I knew we should have changed it. Jonathan tore right through it. You need to connect with the student, Charlotte, like what Jonathan did with the hot chocolate. You missed a huge opportunity. How was I supposed to know the hot chocolate was that popular? I hated it. You'd know if you actually listened every now and then. Have you ever actually tried talking to the student body? And I don't mean shoving campaign posters in their faces. It's truly amazing you've been president as long as you have. I get it, okay? The debate was a disaster and it's my fault. What do you want me to do? Let Rex and I run your campaign like you asked us to. We want you to win, Charlotte. We're on your side. Uh-oh. Jonathan just uploaded an ad to the school website. When I see Autumn Academy, I don't just see a school or a building. I see opportunity. I see exceptional students. I see potential. The students are the life of Autumn Academy, and they're what make this school so great. My goal is to acknowledge and thank those who do such good things for our school. I want to create opportunity to help students hone their skills, starting by increasing the funding of school clubs and placing a greater emphasis on school involvement. You guys made Autumn Academy what it is. Let's work together to make it the best it can be. supposed to compete with that. He's the perfect candidate. You heard everyone in the auditorium. They love him. We can begin your ad campaign this week, starting with a commercial of your own. But whatever we do, we need to show the student body that you know what they want and that you care about their needs and not just your own. And how do you suggest I do that? For your commercial, we can get shots of you interacting with other students. I can get Clark to help. When that looks staged, not if it's real. Hall monitor training. Go to Nolan's next hall monitor training session next week. And tarnish my reputation beyond repair? Any banks you'd like me to rob while I'm at it? I think we'll actually help you. It'll show that you're invested in upholding school rules. You could even offer to host it in our campaign office as a sign of good faith. And you might even secure the home monitor vote. Plus, he's been begging you to go for weeks. You're not gonna let me out of this one, are you? You might actually enjoy yourself. <sighs> Only in my nightmares. <laughs> Fantastic debate! Thanks, Dex. Being on the debate team really has its advantages. I uploaded the ad to the school website about an hour ago, and people are responding well. You've got the selection in the bag. Yeah, great job on the commercial. It looks really good. Charlotte doesn't stand a chance against you now. Yeah, she, she seemed a little off her game today, don't you think? I've noticed. I've never seen Charlotte unable to sway a crowd before. Better for you, though. 
It's about time Charlotte got what's coming to her. I kind of wish I was running against the old Charlotte. This is almost too easy. Maybe she'll come around? I hope so. Maybe it's the debater in me. I'm always up for a challenge. Keeps it exciting. The canteen traded the hot chocolate for this? It's a shame. Thanks again for agreeing to this, Charlotte. My pleasure. Is it really necessary that I wear this thing? Yes, it shows that you're a team player. For what sport? Stopping traffic. Welcome, trainees. I'm Nolan Hoffman, Senior Hall Monitor. This is the Hall Monitor training session. This is the Hall Monitor's Handbook. In this book, there are all the school rules that we, as Hall Monitors, enforce. Each of you should have found a copy on your seats. I know students don't think too highly of Hall Monitors. Cool! Those cookies are for trainees only! As I was saying, I know students don't think too highly of hall monitors. My brother Neil was one of the best Autumn Academy ever had. And even he came off a little extreme at times. I'll say, two years ago he tried to write me up because my campaign posters weren't hung exactly parallel to the floor. Neil was a stickler for the rules, but most students don't even know what they are. Most refuse to even learn them. My goal as a senior hall monitor isn't just to enforce rules, but to create a safe school environment. Yes, Charlotte? So, you know the reputation hall monitors have, yet you still want to be one. Of course I do. A lot of students don't know the school rules, so if I have to take the responsibility to keep them safe, I will. You're a good leader, Nolan. Um, thank you, Charlotte. Now everybody, please pick up your handbook and read page one, the Statement of Integrity. Never actually read this thing before. It's amazing how much I didn't know. I know, it's weird. Like, there's stuff in here about student rights and emergency procedures that I've never really listened to before. Nolan's right. Home monitors shouldn't be the only ones who know this stuff. Yeah, but no one's stopping the rest of the student body from picking up the handbook. They just don't really feel like they have to. Thanks for hosting us, Charlotte. I should be thanking you. I learned a lot. Glad to help. <coughs> Gotta go. There's a 622 in progress. What's a 622? An overflowing toilet. Oh, gross. You should go. Yeah. Good luck with your campaign, Charlotte. You got my vote. We got some great footage, Char. Rex will put it all together for you. And that part where you called Nolan a good leader, golden. I meant what I said about Nolan. 
That's what it looks like when you actually care about what you're fighting for. You were right, Claire. We need to change my platform. I don't want to run for president just to wear the title anymore. Okay, so what's your new focus? Well, I became president so I could make all the rules uncontested. I started being selfish and the students got complacent and now everything is falling apart. I want the students to know that they have the power to change our school, not just me. And it's not just the job of those in power to make things better. So, what's your plan? Well, I want to advocate personal responsibility. We can start by encouraging students to participate in one of Nolan's Home Under training sessions every year. That way they'd get a better understanding of school policies. Student Council could also create a fundraising budget for each school club and help each school club support themselves rather than Student Council keeping them afloat. And that would also help get a better idea of which clubs the students are interested in. Taking power out of your own hands and giving it back to the students. That's brilliant. Hang on, hang on. So what you're saying is you want to be president so you can lose power? Don't think of it as losing power, more like a redistribution of power. Mackenzie will be asking specific questions about each candidate's platform at the next debate. I'll start drafting the new one today. Thankfully, the debate's still a week away. In the meantime, we should get more footage for your ad. We also need to make the student body aware of your platform change. All right, let's do it. I would like to announce a change in my campaign platform. During my last few terms in office, I've lost sight of what truly matters, but now I've decided to get back on track and support our students. My goal for the future is to promote personal responsibility in our students, reminding them that they have as much power to change our school as I do. I've been taking steps to improve student life at Autumn Academy for both the present and the future. I will be opening my office to walk-ins where I will address any questions or concerns the student body may have. Zoe, let me guess. You hear about the sewing club? What do you think? I'm sorry your club was canceled. I really am. You're not sorry. You're selfish. You just cut my club when so many people loved it. That's good to know. Do you think you could get me a list of people who would be interested in starting it up again? If so many people love the sewing club, I'd love to help bring it back. Start a petition. If you get enough student signatures, the sewing club may be worth bringing back. Like I said, I just want to help. Um, I guess I could do that. Thanks, Charlotte. I realize now that it is not just my job to make changes in our school. Found us some reinforcements. You guys want to help me? But Everett, I thought you were voting for Jonathan and Jacob. I am, but Rex said Charlotte would buy me something from the canteen if I helped you guys a little bit. How thoughtful of me. Well, I appreciate the help, Everett, and I'm sure I can find something for all of you to do. Thank you, guys. Seriously? Do you think we could get a school supplies kiosk? I think we should get new basketball nets. Do you think maybe we could get our AV club back? I think our school should have a swing set. We need hot chocolate back. I don't always know what's best, but I promise you, if we all work together and learn from one another, we can make Autumn Academy a better place. Thank you. You think we could have, like, longer recesses than 15 minutes? It's not enough. It's not enough. We also need nap time. We need a lot of nap time. Like, a lot of nap time. 
I would like naps like all the time to the point where it's like no more class and that would be really great. We'll add it to our notes. During my last few terms in office, I lost sight of what truly mattered. But now I've decided to get back on track and support our students. I now realize that it is not just my job to make changes in our school. My goal for the future is to promote personal responsibility in our students, reminding them that they have as much power to change our school as I do. I've been taking steps to improve student life at Autumn Academy for both the present and the future. I don't always know what's best, but if we all work together and learn from one another, I promise we can make Autumn Academy a better place. Now there's the Charlotte we know. Are you ready for tomorrow's debate? Bring it on. In today's debate, I will be asking each candidate questions about their platforms and their specific plans for Autumn Academy. The first question is for Jonathan. Focusing on student life, Jonathan, how exactly do you plan to combat a lack of student involvement in extracurricular activities? Thank you, Mackenzie. That's a great question. My plan to increase student involvement in school activities is to increase the funding of funny school clubs. The money from this can come out of the current student council budget. With more money, clubs can get better equipment, go on more trips, which in turn will pull in more members. 
Thank you, Jonathan. My next question is for Charlotte. Charlotte, many students have a lack of confidence in your current administration. What are your plans to restore your trust in Autumn Academy if re-elected? Thank you, Mackenzie. I know I've lost the trust of the student body during this term, and I don't blame them for losing faith in me. But with the change in my new platform, I hope to correct the mistakes I've made. In order to restore trust between my administration and the student body, I plan to regularly schedule town hall meetings to listen to the current concerns of Autumn students. Also, with my personal responsibilities campaign, I plan to work closely with students, reminding them of their rights and responsibilities as students. I will no longer silence the voice of the student body. I plan to take emphasis off my own role as president and delegate power amongst Autumn students so their voices can be heard because their voices matter. Charlotte, that debate was incredible. Looks like the old Charlotte's back in business. I hope not. I've actually been trying to get away from the old Charlotte. Hmm. Let's just go with the uh, new and improved. I like that. Looks like it's going to be a tight race. Yeah, and you're doing a good job. And coming from Autumn's longest serving president, that should mean a lot to you. I'll cherish those words forever. Well, it looks like you won today's debate, but I'm sure Jack has a billion things I need to do in order to recover. Go ahead, duty calls. Jonathan. Good luck. You don't need luck when you have talent. That was fantastic, Charlotte. Thanks, Rex. I think you're officially back in the race. Things are looking up. Thanks to you. I pretty much just said what you wrote. So I left the debate early, emergency track team meeting. So, how'd we do? We lost. Whoa, really? Charlotte must be finding her footing again. I know. We need to put a stop to it. I thought you said you wanted the old Charlotte to come back. That was before I realized she could repair her reputation. I wanted her to try. I didn't think she'd be successful. So what are you going to do about it? We just need to remind the student body who she really is. You're a South Coltrane's campaign? Do you have a problem with that? Yeah, I do. It might be the athlete in me talking, but I don't cheat. We already have a plan in place, and you're gonna go with it. You're my VP. Then I quit. You're quitting. Yeah, and I'm gonna tell everybody what you're planning to do. If you expose me, do you really think anyone's going to believe that you didn't know what was going on? You are my vice president. If you rat me out, you're going to lose everything, too. Dex, did you know about this? Why do you think I asked Jonathan to appoint you VP? It was the perfect track. That, and with you as my VP, I got all the athletic votes. It's funny. Charlotte was always afraid of running against Jeremy. But if she were smart, she would have teamed up with him instead. 
they would have been unstoppable. Now you either stay with us and help destroy Charlotte's rep, or you leave and destroy your own. All that hard work of getting everyone to like you, all for nothing. Dex is a schemer. That's why I let him join my campaign team. He's the one that came up with the plan we're gonna use. Stop saying we. You're with us, Jacob, whether you like it or not. You really hate me that much? Don't act like you don't deserve it. People like you and Charlotte can pretend to be saints, but it doesn't change who you really are. I have changed, and I think Charlotte has too. But what about you? If this plan blows up in your face, what's your reputation going to be like? My reputation's already shot. I have nothing to lose. You, however... Don't worry. If Dex's plan works, no one's going to be able to prove it was us. Dex, get a hold of Mackenzie Harrison. I want to book an interview. I come bearing gifts, slushies from the student council lunch. Way better than the hot chocolate, if you ask me. What's this for? I don't know if I'll ever be able to thank you two properly, but this is a start. You can thank us when you win this election. I just checked the polls on the school website, and you and Jonathan are neck and neck. And that's all because of you guys. I'd never thought I'd see the day that Charlotte and St. Germain gave credit to someone other than herself. Neither did I. As close to perfection as I am, you and Rex filled in the gaps. A breaking news alert. Yeah, I got one too. Apparently Jonathan's doing a live interview with Mackenzie right now. Play it. Good afternoon, Autumn Academy. I'm here with presidential candidate Jonathan Grant, an exclusive interview. Thank you for having me, Mackenzie. Of course. So, Jonathan, when you talked to me on the phone on Friday, it seems like you had a lot on your mind. Yes, I did. I did a lot of thinking after last week's debate. I just wanted to publicly congratulate Charlotte St. Germain for her successful debate. Wow, that's incredibly kind of you to do, Jonathan. Well, Charlotte has come a long way since the beginning of her current term. And I just wanted to say that I am privileged to be running against such a worthy opponent. What's going on? I don't know. Maybe it's a streaming error or something? Good morning, Autumn Academy. I'm Mackenzie Harrison. And in case you haven't heard it yet, welcome back. Oh no. What is this? When did you book an interview with Mackenzie? You know Remember, I told you I did an interview with her at the beginning of the school year? The one that the beginning of our school year is student body president Charlotte St. Germain. They told me they deleted the footage. Thanks for having me, Mackenzie. Okay, Charlotte, let's get to the real talk. Your presidency so far. How are things going for you? Um, good. My team is... I'm sorry. Team? Um, yes, my team. The student council. <laughs> I know that's what you meant, but would you really go as far as calling it a team? <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I don't follow? Naomi Lawrence, your former vice president, graduated last June, and your most recent pick for VP. Elaine Samuels is in Vancouver for an art program, correct? Um, yeah, things have been shaken up quite a bit lately, and my core team has dropped in its numbers. 
And there's still quite a bit up in the air, but... And it's not just your cabinet picks that seem to have abandoned you. I'm sorry, abandoned? Your close friends seem to have disappeared, too. Benjamin Barlett and Lydia Moore also graduated last year. Even Jeremy Pitt is gone. How will their absence affect your ability to lead the student body? My ability to run the student body will not be affected by... It just seems like without Naomi or Elaine, or even Ben and Lydia, you're kind of... Alone. Wouldn't you agree? I know this is your first interview, but generally there's not this much interest. So you agree that your lack of acquaintances will affect your presidency? Listen, if you interrupt me one more time, I'm gonna... It just seems that you're slightly on edge. Well, maybe the reason I seem on edge is because I'm being interviewed by a mediocre interviewer asking extremely invasive questions and not letting me fit a word in edgewise because they keep cutting me off. Don't even think about it. My plans for the school year, don't worry about them. The student body will do whatever I tell them to do because that's what they elected me to do. And I'm student body president and I can do whatever I want. And if anyone has a problem with that, then they can just suck it up because they voted for me and that's not my choice, it's th footage was old. I'm not that kind of person anymore. You have to believe me. We believe you, Charlotte. I don't know how this happened. Besides me, there's only one other person who can salvage deleted footage and air it live. And we happen to share the same face. Where is he? He usually takes his study breaks in the library on Thursdays. Looks like you and Jonathan got this one in the bag. Nice interview. You saw it? Yeah, I also saw that blast from the past your campaign manager dug up. I told you Dex was bad news, and now he's killed my campaign. Rex told me he's supposed to be in here. Where is he? Dex didn't do anything I didn't tell him to do. What? I figured you'd damage your reputation beyond repair. But then you started gaining support. So plans had to change. Didn't I tell you Dex is good at what he does? Was Jacob in on this too? Please. Jacob's obliviousness is half the reason I made him my VP. His popularity didn't hurt either. How could you do this? To me. To Jacob. How could you be so selfish? You're going to talk to me about being selfish? Selfish is becoming president so you can boss people around. Selfish is canceling the debate club so the student council can afford a slushy machine. You didn't think I knew about that one, did you? 
That's why you're doing this? Because I cut your club? I'm doing this because your vanity is ruining our school. And I'm finally in a position to stop you. By playing dirty? Destroying my reputation? All I did was remind the student body who you really are. And if that's what it takes to win, then so be it. Student council is the only thing you have left. And I'll take that from you. Just like you took the bait club from me. You're just like I used to be. Arrogant, fake, and yes, selfish. We are not the same. When you were president, you made decisions that only benefited yourself. When I'm president, I'll make decisions that benefit everyone except you. I'll make school clubs better. But no one will want to accept you. No student will want to be your friend. You'll lose everything. So what? You want me to drop out of the race? Stay in the race? Drop out? It doesn't matter. You'll lose your presidency either way, and you'll never get it back. I'm sorry, Jonathan. About everything, it wasn't fair for me to do what I did. You can save the act, Charlotte. There's no cameras around here I can see. You know I voted for you your first term. Biggest mistake of my life. No one will make that mistake again. Hey, Claire. I'm sorry I haven't talked to you much these last few weeks. I've been so busy with campaigning. As have you. Well, I guess not as much anymore. You have some nerve, Jonathan. I didn't think you were capable of doing something this low. Oh, you're talking about that awful interview Charlotte did. I had nothing to do with that. Sure you didn't. Yeah, the things she said were pretty terrible. I'm sorry you have to run VP to such a deceitful person. I didn't have that problem, but I'm sure others know exactly what that's like. You know what, Claire? I miss this passion of yours. When I win the presidency, I think I'll bring back the debate club. And even reinstate you head debater. You're unbelievable. And you. Charlotte didn't do anything to you. You had no right to treat her like that. Ever since you destroyed Lane's mural last year, everyone has been nothing but nice to you. But you continue to hold every single grudge imaginable. You're just as bad as Jonathan. And about you bringing back the debate club, you can save yourself the trouble, Jonathan. If you're offering it, I don't want any part in it. Some of us can tell when we're being used.
drop something? I threw it. I was talking about your standards. Back to the hoodies, I see. What are you doing, Claire? Baking a cake. Talking to you, obviously. You're not afraid to be seen with me? The rest of the school's been avoiding me like the plague. I told you I know that footage was dated. Too bad nobody else in the student body believes that. You know, when we first met, you told me that Jonathan was a decent person. Maybe you're not as good of a judge of character as I thought. People change what you take away what they love from them. I mean, just look at you. I really do enjoy our little chats, Claire. Have you tried telling anyone Jonathan leaked your interview? Who cares who leaked it? I said what I said on camera, and that's all they care about. And I don't blame them. He's not wrong, you know. Who, Jonathan? All this time I was president. I never stopped to think how my actions affected anyone else. They voted for me, and I turned my back on them. That's not who you are anymore. Try telling that to the student body. So, what's your plan? It's been two weeks since the interview leaked, and the last debate's in two days. Are you quitting? I don't know. Jonathan said it himself. Stay in the race, drop out. He wins either way. Don't drop out. It makes it look like you were faking and you got caught. So you want me to stay in the race and humiliate myself at the debate on Friday? If you stay in this, you can prove to student body that you have changed once and for all. Don't let Jonathan control how people see you. You've come way too far to let that happen. And if they don't believe me? Well, Rex and I do. And you may not be president after this election, but you're a genuine person, Charlotte, and you've proven that to me. Now go prove that to every other student in Autumn Academy. Why are you doing this for me? Because you asked me to. You asked me to be your vice president, and I nearly choked on that nasty green tea. Well, in that case, better get a hold of Rex, because we've got one last debate to prepare for. Are you sure you want to do this? Yeah, I'm sure. Jonathan might not want to play fair, but I'm not going to let him stop me. And I'm going to do this the right way. So she chose to stay in the race. What, are you worried she's not intimidated by you? Why don't you grab a seat, Jacob? The debate's about to start. The farther away from you two, the better. I'm gonna go get some water. Be back soon. Don't get any ideas. Been there, done that. Love your neighbor. You should really try that sometime. I know you're the one who leaked Charlotte's interview. What? I'm not allowed to be mad? Not really. I don't think you even know why you're mad anymore. You've been mad at Jeremy for stealing your friend. You've been mad at Ben for figuring out you destroyed the mural. 
and now you're mad at Charlotte just for being friends with Ben. The only person you should really be mad at is Jacob, and he's apologized and is trying his best to be your friend again. You keep redirecting your anger so that you don't have to take responsibility for your own actions. That's why you destroyed the mural. That's why you're trying to take Charlotte down. And that's why you won't accept Jacob's apology. You don't know anything. I do, and I know you, Dex, better than anyone. And the reason I talk to you, even when no one else in the entire school will, isn't because we share the same room. It's because I know you're better than the person you're pretending to be. Please welcome your presidential candidates, Jonathan Grant and Charlotte St. Germain. Well, it's a good luck, but I don't even think that'll help at this point. Well, I guess it's a good thing I don't need it. For our final presidential debate, for Election Day next Friday, we will be discussing... Mackenzie, if I may, I'd like to address the student body before we begin. I'll allow it. Thank you. I'm sure most of you have seen or heard about the leaked interview I did with Mackenzie Harrison. I wanted to take the time today to apologize not only to Mackenzie, but to the student body for my behavior. That interview was conducted before my change in policy at a very low point in my presidency, but that's still no excuse for my actions. As I hope many of you have seen in this past month, I've been taking steps not only to improve my public image, but to improve student life at Autumn Academy as well. I chose to run on personal responsibility, and I'm holding myself responsible for keeping the sanctity of the president position. I can't fully escape the memory of what I once was, but let my past actions serve as a reminder of the changes I've made. I'm still fighting in the interest of every single student at Autumn Academy and will continue to do so if I'm re-elected despite what dated video evidence may suggest. Whether I win or not, that doesn't matter to me anymore. The only thing that I care about is that you all know that I'm sorry and I've changed for the better. As beautiful as those words were, can you really expect the student body to put their trust in you again? I meant what I said. Can we truly know that? You've lied to us on several occasions. You know I've vouched for you on live television, but that interview of yours discredited everything positive I thought about you. Can we really count we on Autumn to remind the student body who she really is? Go South Cultural's campaign? Do you have a problem with that? Yeah, I do. It might be the athlete in me talking, but I don't cheat. We already have a plan in place, and you're gonna go with it. You're my VP. Then I quit. You're quitting? Yeah, and I'm gonna tell everybody what you're planning to do. If you expose me, do you really think anyone's gonna believe that you didn't know what was going on? You are my vice president. If you rat me out, you're gonna lose everything, too. No way. Dex. We just need to remind the student body who she really is. You South Coast Rose Do you have a problem with that? Yeah, I do. But I don't cheat. I did tell you Dex couldn't be trusted. Quitting. Yeah, and I'm going to tell everybody what you're planning to do. If you expose me, 
Did you? Old habits die hard. I didn't even know the computer lab had security cameras. They're new. Installed over the summer. Probably because of me. Dex, what are you doing? Letting you off the hook. But this video would incriminate you too. Like I said, I have nothing to lose. And besides, what are friends for? Thanks, Dex. Yeah, I owe you one. If you expose me, you All right, everyone. Settle down. We need to get back to the on. debate. You are my vice president. If you rat me out, you're going to lose everything. Autumn Academy students, we need to get back to we the debate. To if you could please. Student body who she really is. You know what? Forget it. I'm canceling the debate. Remember, students, election yeah, day is on December 14th at noon. Clark, cut the sheet. We already have a plan in place, and you're going to go with it.
logged on as soon as we could. Did we miss it? You're just in time. I think it's about to start. Autumn Academy. The 2019 winter election results are in. Students, your student body president for the upcoming term is Charlotte St. Germain. I won. Oh my goodness, I won. Was there ever any doubt? Way to go, Charlotte. You deserve it. Please give a round of applause for student body president this term, Charlotte St. Germain. Thank you. Students of Autumn Academy, I cannot thank you enough for your support throughout this election. And I am honored to be elected as your representative this term. However, now that I have been sworn in as student body president, I am officially announcing my resignation. Following the current rules of succession, my former vice president, Claire Marshall, will be taking over my role. She's better for this job than I ever was. And I would be doing a disservice to Autumn Academy if I didn't let her have this job. Can she do that? Yeah, she can, it's in the handbook. Charlotte, what are you doing? You work so hard for this. You won me this presidency, Claire. You deserve this more than I ever did. You know what the students wanted. Charlotte, I, I can't. I became president because I wanted people to think that I was a good leader. You never had to prove that to anyone. But... I thought student council was all you had left. It's not. And I don't have to be president to be a good person. You taught me that. Go on, Madam President. down. I can't believe you, of all people, did that. I'm leaving Autumn Academy in good hands. Better hands. Well, that's really selfless of you, Charlotte. Told you I've changed. Charlotte, I'm sorry. 
I misjudged you. I acted way out of line. You did. I let my anger get the better of me, and I hurt people. And I don't know if you can even begin to forgive me. Already done. Really? Brand new Charlotte, remember? Thanks. Of course. <laughs> you know, I could probably talk Claire into getting the debate club up and running again. That would be great. I'm sure the students would love that. But I think I want to stick with the yearbook committee. I'm pretty sure that's where I belong. Well, I hope I can find a new place to belong as well as you have. With luck, I'm sure you will. Right, silly me. You don't need luck. So, that was unexpected. How long have you had that trick up your sleeve? Since before the third debate. She'll do a good job. You know, she'll probably name you her VP. So, what's the great Charlotte St. Germain gonna do now? I'm sure I'll find something. I've been president for long enough. It's about time I tried something new. Not that. Academy, I am proud to stand with you today as I officially reinstate our beloved hot chocolate back onto the canteen menu. Woo! The days of green tea are now behind us. We can now... Here's to no more gutter water. To no more gutter water. To no more gutter water. To no more gutter water! Turn it around in three, two, one. Come on, Jacob. Who's who? Dex. Rex. Shoot, I thought I had it that time. You'll get it eventually. And even if you don't, Dex is the only one of them who's going to be joining the track name, so he's the only one of them who's going to be wearing that shirt. Still, I should be able to see the difference. <laughs> Good luck with that. They're practically the same person. We've been told. Let's try that again. You guys ready? Ready. Dex. 
We didn't move. He's still Rex. Come on! Okay, Zoe, let me get this straight. You want me to dedicate six pages of the yearbook to the sewing club? Yes. And this makes sense to you? Of course it does. Ever since Claire reinstated the sewing club, we've been working hard nonstop. We even qualified for a regional meet. We deserve the space. There are regional meets for sewing? Just promise me you'll think about it. I have several action shots of the team if you need any. I'll sleep on it. Action shots of sewing? Regional meets? I didn't even know that was a thing. By the power vested in me by the Autumn Academy Hall Monitors Association, I hereby proclaim the new Junior Deputy Hall Monitor, Charlotte St. Germain. Whoa, didn't see that one coming. Charlotte has definitely had her fair share of surprises this year. Now that she's a hall monitor, do you think she'll let me film in the hallways without a pass? I just keep losing them. Are you sure you're up to this? Are you kidding? I get to give instructions and blow loudly into a whistle. Those are like two of my favorite things. All right, students, hall monitors, we've got work to do.